lucky there. Finally got a coin. What is that? It's a, uh... Hey everybody, out on the road today. Not going too far, just going right down the road from my house about eighth of a mile. I've got access to a vacant lot that nobody knows about and had two houses on it, a trailer house, and uh, it's pretty junky, but could be promising, I don't know. And uh, gonna go head back over to Relic Roundup and to see what I can find up over there. Probably hit that a couple times this week in this video. But I got a big surprise for you guys. And uh, it's gonna make, I'm gonna make a little competition in order how to win this surprise. I'm not gonna tell you what it is yet. But what you're gonna do somewhere in this video is gonna be another little video of me talking about the surprise. So the first thing that you have to do is you're gonna to have to find me in the video talking about the surprise. Now I'm gonna hide it somewhere in there. You have to look all over to see if you can find me. And then when you find me, you gotta to listen to the video. It's gonna be just a minute or two. And I'm gonna tell you what the surprise is. And I'm gonna tell you what you're gonna to have to comment in order to win that surprise. And the first one that can find me number one that can listen to the video, comment what I say to comment, and the first one that comments is gonna win that surprise. It's gonna be good. So anyway, uh, good luck everybody, and happy hunting for the preacher digger in his own video. All right, I'll see you, let's get this week. I'll be hunting with my uh, Equinox today, and since I'm in this real trashy area, I am going to put my recovery speed up to six because everything is going to be shallow most likely out here and six will still get you plenty enough depth uh, on this and so uh, I'm going to put my sensitivity down to about 18 because uh, just the trash I'm going to just see what we can come up with multiple uh, frequency park one and uh, we are ready to roll let's see what we can get today well I'm out at a vacant lot today as you can tell there's the old house site right there and it's torn down and it is so so trashy look at all this trash this trash I've been out here about 35 40 minutes and I've just found trash and pennies trash and pennies that's all I've been finding <clears throat> but this is a vacant lot that's off of the main road the old house site a barn nobody even knows it's back here uh, my daughter-in-law whose uncle uh, owns the land gave me permission to come out here so I thought I would brave the trash and put my sensitivity down low and listen for everything that's going to be above a 27 28 because pennies out here ringing up is a, like a dime like a 26 27 and so I'm tired of digging all that so I got a signal here that's a 29 so let's dig it together and let's see what it's going to be Twenty-eight. There's a couple of signals in there. All right, let's uh, let's see if we can. Uh, it's like an old driveway right here, so it's a lot of gravel, a lot of rock, my trash. But who knows? Who knows? This is the best signal I've had. Alright. Still showing to be over there. I'm not too worried about my plugs out here. It's sand that won't hold up. I need a big pinpointer. There we go. No, that's just going to be a nail. But it is still over here, so. Ah, there we go. It did ring up higher. It's going to be a an ugly rosy is it going to be 64 it looks silver I can't tell though 
Let me uh, put it here and change hands. I don't have a glove on this hand. I can rub it. What do y'all think? I can't tell. I, my eyes are so bad. It uh, sounded silver. It has a silver edge on it, so it's going to be silver. It looks like it's going to be a 1960 something. Man, I can't tell. I hope you guys can tell. Anyway, all right. These things are going to ring up as a 2829 1960. And so I'm going to start looking for those signals and see if we can get anything else in here. So let's keep swinging. I'm working my way over to the old house side here. There is uh, two houses. There's one over there and one right here. Little bitty houses. But all the junk is just driving me crazy. All the trash. Just pennies just on the surface. And uh, can slaw and cans. It's just... I need to go put my sniper coil on. But anyway, I've got... Uh, I'm sitting at 28, 26... It's got that high pitch in it. It's hitting a 25. It could be a it could be a penny, but let's uh right here and all the concrete bricks. Let's see, that's some sandy dirt. Roots in here. Let's see, come on silver be worth my trip over here today oh I don't even have to use a pin pointer I'll let y'all look at it can you see it I'll give you a second we'll zoom in it looks like another it's like another rosy it's okay to rub the rosies 1946 hey that's the first year of a rosy so this site may date back into wheat pennies and uh and um some mercs it's not gonna be old enough to be barber for sure i'll take a 46 rosy let's put this sweet baby right down here let's get a picture and keep swinging i want you to see if y'all can hear from inside my headphones hear all that that's what I'm dealing with. Take the horseshoe off and it does a little bit better. But just dealing with a lot of iron. All right, got another 28, 29, 31. Very, very shallow. I bet this is going to be trash, but. Well, there it is right there. That's what I was digging. It's just full of trash. All right. Can't get a silver on every dig, can we? I've been chasing this signal for about five, 10 minutes now, and it's just full of iron, but I'm getting this 130 chirp in there. Uh, check this out. See it right, right there? But I can't find the thing. I mean, Look at all this, look at all these nails I've already dug out of this hole. It's still somewhere. Maybe it's in the side wall here. Oh, yes! Can y'all see it? Yes. That looks like that's going to be a quarter size. Yeah. Let's go ahead and... Oh, yeah. Check it out. It'll be a nice quarter. What's it going to be? Can y'all read that? I can't. I mean to tell you, in amongst all that iron, I found that quarter. 
All right. Let's see. It's going to be a 19... 57 1957 <laughs> well, it's got beautiful toning on it fifty nine nineteen fifty nine boy I tell you it's worth chasing it down look at the size of my hole <laughs> And I was slinging dirt everywhere. I guess I can hear that chirp. I thought it was trash. I was just about ready to give up. But then I stayed with it. Persistent pays off. If you know it's a good high, that's not just a high number, but it has that high pitch in it. You can take a clad quarter and it's going to ring up like a silver quarter, but a silver quarter is going to have a higher pitch to it than a clad quarter will if you got the ear to hear that. And so I could hear the silver amongst all that iron and uh, just stay with it and sometimes you get lucky and you find a big quarter out of the deal all right i'm wore out after this my back is beginning to hurt again and so i'm fixing to swing myself out of here and uh, there's a front yard out of there in front of the trees i'm going to go right through here and turn right and go over to my truck and there's a front yard right over there i haven't done yet so let's see what we get there i'm getting a 28 29 four inches just right off of that, uh, that board let's dig amongst the roots here and see let's see what we can get I saw silver. This turned out to be a good yard after all. But I'm not showing you all the trash I'm digging too. That's gonna be a merc. Yeah, it's gonna be a merc. How year is that merc gonna be? 1940, is that 45? 45 merc and a 46 rosy. And a 59 quarter, so it's all later silvers. It's all gonna be laters, 40s and above. But she's pretty, I'll take it. 27, jump to 33. You can hear that, that high pitch. All right, let's see if this is gonna be a silver. Let's hope it is. It's been a good amount in the front yard. It's been a little while since I dug my last uh, my last one. Let's see what this is going to be. I had a good tone to it. Wasn't too deep, was it? Four inches. Yep. I get it every time. <laughs> When you hear that high tone, when you hear that high tone, that looks like it's going to be a, a mark. Let me change hands here. It's going to be a mark. 1944. A 44 and a 45 Merc and a 46 Rosie and a 57 Washington. All right, let's get a pick. Let's keep on rolling. Because I want everybody to see that, gosh, I dig 10 times more trash than I do treasure. And uh, I just don't show everything. And I dig, I do a lot of live digs. I just don't put them in the film because they're just not worth it. It eats up time. And I'd rather just show the good stuff. But I know that a lot of you like to see the other stuff, too, that we dig. You know, that uh, that I'm no different than anybody else. Not every, not every dig is a silver, though on the video it appears that way. Uh, it's uh, it doesn't go that way. It takes a lot of swinging a lot of digging my back goes out and uh, To make a video so I enjoy it though. I enjoy it. Let's uh, let's keep searching here I'm about halfway through the front yard. Let's see what else we can get 
All right, I'm back out at uh, Relic Roundup. I left that other vacant lot. It was real close to my house, just maybe eighth of a mile away. And uh, I got the feeling a little better. Got some drink in me. I got a little snack and uh, said, what the heck? I'm going to come out here and uh, dig for about uh, maybe about an hour, hour and a half is all the daylight I have. But you never know. Might find something. Uh, so let's get to swinging. Let's see what we can get. You know, there's one thing out here that's baffled me. We have dug V nickels out of here. We have dug barber dimes, barber quarters out of here. And what copper coin should be out here more than anything else during that date range between a V nickel, 1883, and all the way up to 19, uh, you know, 16. You know, barbers go up to 1916. It should be an Indian head. And out of all the people that's hunted here, none of us have found a single Indian head. I was just digging an 18, 19, usually it's trash but I was brought it up and it's a penny. And I cleaned it up, got my hopes up, cause it was deep and it was green. But when I flip it a certain way, I can see one cent on the back. So it's a wheat penny. It's a very early wheat penny. I can't get a date off of it yet. But I don't know why we can't get a single Indian head out of here. They should be all over the place. There's many V-nickels and the buffalo nickels that we have dug. Uh, well, buffalo comes after the Indian, but still, barbers, we're in that date range. All right, let's uh, keep swinging. Sun is going down, and the truck is about uh, 50 yards away, so we're going to call it a day and come back another time. I know it looks light on camera, but it's really darker than what it does look on camera. It's getting late. I'm getting tired. I've been doing this since about 1 o'clock today and uh, chased my last signal down and a lot of iron in this hole and uh, got a gray coin. Let's check it out. Just popped it up. It's a lot of, a lot of iron. It's just mixed in here with all kinds of stuff and you just gotta really listen for them. I'm on the side over here, the dark soil, so it comes out kind of tarnished over here. <laughs> So let's see what date that is. Let me wipe it on my pants. See if we can get us a, a date. Can y'all read that? I can't read it. Let me try to rub it there a little bit. I don't want to rub it too much. That's too dark for me to see. Hopefully y'all can tell. I just looked at it. It was a 1918. I couldn't see a mint mark on the back. So that's an old one. Uh, just missed Barber by two years. Let's uh, put her down here. Let's get a picture. And let's go home. We'll come back out here later on this week after work one day. And keep looking around. Well, I'm back out here at Relic Roundup today. I just got off work. I'm going to hit it for a couple of hours. And uh, it takes, you know, six or seven trips out here to find a couple of things. I was lucky yesterday to get that uh, one mercury dime. So let's see what I can get today. If I find something, we'll definitely show you. So let's go swing. All right, I've been out here for a couple of hours. I've dug a lot of signals, but they're just pieces of lead. My pocket is full, it's heavy. And uh, I'm fixing to call it a day. I'm thirsty and I got to go home. But I got one more signal here. I want y'all to look at it. And let's see if I can end out on a good day or just another big chunk of lead or a big chunk of brass nut. That's what I've been digging, but these things sound like. So let, let me turn you around, let you look at it and listen to it. There we go. Ain't all over, 26 to 33. It's probably because I'm hitting... All right, it's pegging out as a 28. All right, let's live dig it. Let's see. Let me get out of the sun. Oh, I bet it's gonna be a big old piece of lead. All right. Let's see if I got it out of the hole. I don't even hear it now. That's 
the way it works out for me. I don't know. Seems like a... Alright, that's it. Well, looky there. Finally got a coin. What is that? Today. All right. Can you, oh, it's a, sta it's a uh, standing uh, Liberty. SLQ, check that out. Check that out. I don't wanna rub this one too much it's on the back side. Well, that's a good way to end the day, isn't it? Let's flip it over. Good condition other than just tarnished. All right. Let me switch it. Sorry about that. I cut my phone off when I was switching hands. I'm going to rub it on my pants a little bit. Can y'all read a date on that? Is that 1929? I think that's what that's going to be. Let me rub it on my pants to get the back side clean. Any mint mark? I can't tell out here in the sun. I don't see a mint mark. Yeah, a 1929 SLQ. That's my second one I dug out of here. The other one I dug with a barber over that way. And I dug my other barber right over there, right in the middle of my screen. It's about 50 feet away. I dug a piece of jewelry out over there. We're right in that house site. Yeah, I love digging these things. I don't dig many of them. A 1929 SLQ. You can't beat that. You can't beat it being the last dig of the day. Well, I'm going to swing to my trucks about 50 yards away. But anyway, this is awesome. I love it. I love it. All right, man. Let's call it a day. I think I'm just going to go home and shoot a wrap up. I've had a pretty good day yesterday and today and uh, a lot of coins. Not a lot of relics, but a lot of coins. So let's uh, say goodbye to SLQ and I'll see you guys at the wrap up. All right, made it home. I didn't have far to go. Just maybe 10 minute drive, maybe less than that. But uh, going to go ahead and call this a wrap up. Uh, did two days of hunting, two different locations, one real near my house and one over at the Relic Roundup, and uh, both of them paid off this time. Uh, hit that vacant lot that was kind of off of the road and nobody knew about it, and, and uh, I just happened to know the man who owned it was uh, my daughter-in-law's uncle, and so I got on it, and as you saw, trashy as it was, it produced a lot of silver. And um, and then Relic Roundup, two days out there, two two coins and uh, and a few other items, but really no relics this time around. But I wasn't really searching for relics unless I came across them. I still want one of those railroad tags that uh, Hunter got. But anyway, I got it all laid out here on the tailgate. Let me turn you around. Let me show you what I got. All right, there's all my trash, wine bottle tops, a lot of lead. That's why I wasn't doing a lot of live digs because all that sounds really really good. But. Uh, yeah, cleaning up the environment, I guess. I did find a real nice pair of, uh, I don't know what those are called. I always call them Kleins, but they're not the Klein brand. Workforce, they're from China. But they were laying out on top of the ground, so I'm going to put them in my toolbox. Found an old pocket knife. Ended up with two dimes and uh, 5, 10, 15, 16 pennies on my clad. I did find another Texas and Pacific Railroad uh, uh, bell seal. I put those in my display i got that dog tag from 1949 got two wheat pennies one 1916 and i'm not sure on the other 1918 i think and then there at that vacant lot i got that 1946 and a 44 45 and a 60 and a 59 quarters so five silvers on that one and then i got yesterday that uh what is that 1918 uh mercury dime and i don't think it had a mint mark on it 
and then I just dug this right here that 1929 Standing Liberty quarter Wow I love it second one I dug out of there both black like that there are a lot of coins are coming out black like that there so seven silvers is not a bad day for two days is it with two quarters involved not too bad at all and two Wheaties so there's all the trash my friends and here's all the treasure and like I say the greatest treasure isn't what you can go out on vacant lots and that relic round up and dig up out of the ground even though it's some good coins the greatest treasure my friend is found up in heaven keep searching keep looking up until we meet again I just wish everybody happy honey and God bless Well, aren't you the lucky one? So you found the Preacher Digger. Congratulations, you're the winner. And the surprise that you're gonna win are the seven silver coins that I found in this video. That Standing Liberty, 1929 Standing Liberty, a 1959 Washington Quarter, uh, the 60 Rosie, the, the 46 Rosie, the 44, 45, 46 uh, Mercury Dime. All that is right here in this little case. And, uh, and so what you've got to do now, since you found me, is comment, that Preacher Digger is a sneaky one. That Preacher Digger is a sneaky one. If you're the first one to comment that, uh, you're going to win this right here. And so I hope you guys enjoyed this little fun little game that I like to play. And I appreciate all of you playing along with me. So uh, until then, let's see who the winner's going to be.